Welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Thanks for joining us. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with Mr. Bo Berman, co-founder of Lair Origin Nutrition in New York, and he's going to talk with us about HMOs. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Bo Berman. Hey, Neil. Thanks so much for having me today. I'm uh, very excited to talk about this, uh, this topic. Give us a bit of your uh, professional background, if you would. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I have a little bit of a unique background uh, when it comes to you know being the co-founder of a nutrition company in the sense that um, I spent the majority of my life as a actually as a television news reporter and anchor uh, for CBS, ABC, and Fox affiliates across the country. Uh, it was about three years ago whenever I pivoted into communications, public relations, and marketing, um, sort of leveraging some of the skills I had. And uh, when I was, my wife um, was taking a job as a professor at Cornell University in New York. And at that point, I was connected with and, and became friends with um, some scientists who wanted to start a company. And, you know, next thing you know, uh, the three of us have partnered as co founders of Layer Origin Nutrition um, here in Ithaca, New York. So it's uh, two scientists. Um, food scientists who who they met at Cornell University, and um, then myself, and and so that's uh, sort of in a nutshell how how I became you know co-founder of Layer Origin. Now I said that we were going to talk a bit about HMOs. When I think of an HMO, I'm thinking of a health maintenance organization. What are HMOs <laughs> as far as this conversation is concerned? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great thing to clarify right off the bat. So, yeah, the first time I heard about HMOs, I thought the exact same thing. You know, I thought about, okay, you have your HMO, you have your PPO, your HSA and whatnot. But this is actually something totally different. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate that there's not another acronym for it because there would probably be less confusion. But um, at least it's something we're familiar with saying. So in this context, HMO stands for Human Milk Oligosaccharide. And it is a naturally occurring component of breast milk. And so um, no other mammal has anywhere near this concentration and complexity of structures in their milk. Um, and basically in breast milk, you have, you know, a, a high percentage of it is, is lactose. A high percentage is, is fat or lipids. And there's some protein but the third most abundant component are these things called, you know, which the acronym is HMOs. Mm -hmm. And so it was about in the late 1800s that there was the first sort of uh, observation of, you know, something in human milk that made it fascinating. Um, and then, you know, by the 1950s, they were calling HMOs by a different name. They called them bifidus factor or gynolactose. And then by the early 2000s, you know, a hundred plus HMOs had been isolated and characterized. Mm -hmm. And so basically when I say a hundred plus, it's because there's not just one, there's these different varieties of them. So they all fall under the category of, of being a human milk oligosaccharide, but there can be different um, types within that category. So one of the most common types is just called 2FL, and that's actually the type that's in our products. Obviously, the milk industry couldn't survive on human milk. Cow's milk, you say, has not even near the concentration of these HMOs? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Um, the typical animal milk oligosaccharides are different from those of human milk. Um, in human milk, around 70% of the milk oligosaccharides, this is getting a little scientific, but they're fucosylated, while in cow's milk, bovine milk, um, greater than 80% of them are what's called sialylated, um, which I always have trouble pronouncing, but um, sialylated. But um, so there is a difference. And so basically, that's a great question, though, right? Because we, you know, no company could necessarily survive, you know, trying to source like actual human milk, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, our, our HMO products are all about improving human gut health, and immunity. And so, yeah, I'm kind of taking a step backwards here to explain. And so basically, you know, research over the years showed that human milk, you know, we know it's very beneficial for babies, for infants who are nursing. And it was discovered that the, the key reason that it's so beneficial lies within these HMOs. It wasn't necessarily just the lipids. It wasn't the, the protein, you know, it all combines, but it was the HMOs were the, were the key factor. And, 
you know, in terms of research, it was revealed that the HMOs w- were what was really building and encoding the infant gut lining and the infant in- immune system basically from scratch. And without these HMOs, it was not developing the way that, you know, was anticipated or the way that it should be. Mm-hmm. So the question was naturally after a number of decades, okay, is there a way that we can leverage this to help adults as well? And that's sort of where we come in. And so around 2015, you know, about six years ago, seven years ago, um, you saw the major baby formula manufacturers all over the world starting to put HMO. It was on their labels of their formulas. In fact, if you walk through a grocery store almost anywhere in the world now, you'll see some formulas that say HMO, you know, try it next time you're in the store Mm -hmm. right on the label. And so the question is, how do they do this without putting actual human milk inside? And the answer is that basically through scientific experiment, experimentation over really the last uh, 100 years, um, we've arrived at a point where you can basically take lactose, a really small amount of um, lactose from bovine milk in most cases, and you can uh, ferment it very precisely, purify it, and get to a point where you have a bioidentical match for the molecules that are in human milk oligosaccharides. And there's also another way to, to, to do this process as well, which is basically, um, again, through a biological process of fermentation using yeast and things like that. But basically, the bottom line is by the end result, it's something that matches this very, very powerful component of human milk. And so the research preliminarily, you know, within the last few years, uh, testing on adults has shown that it has incredible benefits for people who've struggled with, you know, the symptoms of, of like IBS, you know, irritable bowel syndrome, mm-hmm. like stomach pain and cramping and issues in the bathroom. And, and then beyond that, there's also a big immune system benefit as well. So we're, we're very excited. Do you have products that you combine with bovine milk or some other type of milk? Or are these products stand alone to um, replace or mimic these HMOs in adults? Um, it's more of a, uh, it's more of a mimicking really. It's, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, you know, we call our products, for example, pure HMO because it, it, it matches, um, like I said, it, it's bioidentical to the HMOs in human milk, you know, at a rate of 98%. So our, that's like our product name is pure HMO. Um, and it, uh, it's sold, you know, we, we, sell it in a capsule or in a powder, which you can mix into beverages. And so basically there's, there's a sort of a health guru out there now named Joel Green, who uh, is a big proponent of HMOs and sort of rebooting the gut and reestablishing um, the phytobacteria in the gut um, as a big method of health. And he wrote a book called The Immunity Code. And so, you know, basically just to, to put it into like, you know, simple terms, I mean, he suggests you know, having HMO every morning, you know, an HMO supplement mm-hmm. and actually another practice, which is kind of bizarre, but it's, it's to eat apple skins to like peel an apple and just eat the skins for about 12 days. Um, and this is about reestablishing a special type of bacteria in the gut called the phytobacteria and also a type of bacteria called Acromantia uh, municipilla. And so, you know, he believes that it really is important to do this for health reasons, immunity reasons, even weight loss reasons. Um, we're just going off of the, you know, number of research papers showing that, uh, you know, ingestion of HMO is super beneficial for gut health and immune health and even cognitive health because there is the, the gut brain axis that a lot of the listeners have probably heard of, you know, the connection that in recent decades has been established between the gut and the brain. So, um, yeah, I mean, we sell these as, you know, supplements for folks and, you know, we launched in 2020, you know, early 2020, late 2019, and, you know, I've just seen really explosive growth as I think mostly because it's a product that, that actually works. You know, sometimes there's things that sound great, but then you try them and you're like, well, I don't notice a difference. Mm -hmm. Um, and in this case, we just get rave reviews from people of actually noticing a difference in how they feel. Well, Bo, give us a website where our listeners can learn more about Layer Origin Nutrition and your products. Yeah, absolutely. So our website is www.layerorigin.com. That's L-A-Y-E-R-O-R-I-G-I-N.com. 
um, where you know we sell everything. We have a blog. We have an entire section um, devoted to explaining HMO because it is a little bit uh, unfamiliar to most people uh, early on. And uh, and then another thing for listeners you know, who are in the medical or health field is really just to go on PubMed.org and just type in you know human milk oligosaccharide um, O L I um, G O S A C C A R I D E and just see what comes up and and you'll see that there's hundreds if not thousands of papers on HMO uh, over the last several decades, including a lot of recent papers, you know, last six years that really delve into what they are, how they work and, and what they're proven to do. And um, I think, you know, it's almost like if you think back 20 years, we didn't hear a ton about probiotics. You know, it was kind of on the fringe. You'd, you'd hear that term. And now in 2021, they're on every shelf in every, you know, gr- um, drugstore across you know, most countries, you know, whether it's in the U.S., it's CVS and Rite Aid and, and Walgreens, you see probiotics everywhere. And so I think, I honestly think that HMO is, is, is kind of the the next iteration of that where you're going to be hearing a lot about it in the next few years. But right now it's still kind of fringe and early on. And, and just to clarify, HMO is a prebiotic uh, type of fiber, prebiotic fiber. So, yeah, that's uh, that's where people can learn more. And we certainly hope they, they take the time to do so. Great. Well, I appreciate you joining us here on the program, Bo. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, and thanks for the information. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for having us. Really appreciate it, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Bo Berman, co-founder of Layer Origin Nutrition in New York. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in. Download it SoundCloud and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com health professional radio.